<laughs> Hello everyone, and welcome to Impossible Creatures, Tellurian, 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 whatever you want to say. Oh. So, first things first, I've attempted doing this as a series seven, eight times. It's, yeah. So the regular impossible creatures I'd say is definitely a bit challenging of an RTS because the AI cheats. And you're like, wait, how does the AI cheat? Well, the AI cheats by having basically infinite resources. Like, they'll just basically be handed free resources every few minutes, so they can never run out of resources. Yet you, you can easily run out of resources. Barnes Delirium makes that even worse. Delirium reduces the amount of resources you have. So things, so you run out of resources a lot quicker, too. Which makes it even more bullshit. Let alone the AI still having no advantages. The AI could just, you know, constantly pump out as many creatures as it wants. Without giving a damn about, you know, running out of resources. Well, you? Yeah, as soon as you run out of resources, you're basically fucked. The problem, though, is the AI could just keep producing, producing, producing. So they could basically attrition you into the ground by having, you know, an entire army just constantly being produced. Well, you're just, well, this resource node's gone, whoop, this resource node's gone, and then they can just steamroll your entire base. Because they had excessively more resources than you did. Let alone they could just basically start producing, like, level fives before you could even, you know, get enough resources to get up to the level 5. It's a bit bad. And Tellurian makes it a bit worse in that regard. Problem though is the music form is a bit louder on the menu, less so in game. So yeah, that's why we have to pump that back up. But yeah, I've tried doing this seven, eight times. Between Tellurian, between other ones. It's just. I don't know. For some reason, I get started and then I decide, nah, I don't want to. Then I. So maybe I want to, but then I decide not to, and yeah. Because I'm going to have to cheat. Just pointing that for out, though. I am going to have to cheat because the game's not for hell. Like. Like, it's worse than uh, how Storage Galactic Battlegrounds was like, well, clone campaigns, I should say, was like, and then the army just right at your doorstep before you even have a base up. About that bad, if not worse. So, yeah. Anyway, so Tellurium. We're going to attempt doing this again. Again. So I want to bear with me because we're probably going to be cheating hard. Anyway, also cinemat volume. I can't. I, I have no control over cinemat volume. So the cinemats are going to be loud. Some of the cutscenes are going to be loud and not have subtitles. Some of them are going to have subtitles. It's confusing like that. I can't do anything about it. Because yeah. Anyway, Microsoft Game Studios presents Loud Music. Also, Rogue Entertainment Potential. From the Journal of Rex Chance, dated June 8th, 1937. For years, I thought my father was dead. Dr. Eric Chanikoff, the infamous scientist who disappeared almost 30 years ago, 
after being exiled from the scientific community. All I knew of him is what a handful of old newspaper clippings told me, and that's never been enough. Until today, when I received a letter that turned my world upside down. My son, at last I found you. I've been, I've on, these been on these islands for years, working in exile, to protect both you and myself. But I'm growing old. I'm sure I have many years left, but I don't want to take any chances. I want to look on the face of my son before it's too late. Upton Julius, the man who saved my life and has been my confidant all these years, found you at my request. I want you to know the truth. Your father, Dr. Eric Jenikov. coordinates provided to a small and frigid little rock in the southern region of the Isla Variadas island chain, a stretch of virtually unknown islands nearly a thousand miles long, lost in the vastness of the South Pacific, and owned by the wealthy industrialist Upton Julius. How can you just own a thousand mile long island chain? Like this? Still technically, but it's now cutscene cinema. So it's still using cinema volume. There was no subtitle. The building had been deserted. There were no signs of my father. That music swell is so loud. Like <laughs> Like I feel like everyone's gone deaf after that. Jeez. Rather beautiful, aren't they? They're products of the Sigma technology. The perfect blending of two separate animals. Far superior to anything you'd find in nature. Interesting, uh, pets. Uh, look, I'm obviously in the wrong place. I'm looking for a man. Yes, you're here to find Dr. Chanikov, your long-lost father. What's going on here? Who are you? Upton Julius at your service. Upton Julius? Aren't you a friend of my father? Where is he? You should be more concerned about yourself, Mr. Chan. Well, I've got no quarrel with you, so you can call off your crossbreeds. Crossbreeds? So narrow-minded. The Sigma technology does far more than crossbreed. 
It combines fears, Mr. Chance. Compounds terrors. A fact you'll understand soon enough. Collect him! He must be alive, but he needn't be intact. Easy. <laughs> Stay back. <laughs> You, Mr. Chance, regardless. I don't know who you are, miss, but thanks. I'm Dr. Lucy Willing, a friend and colleague of your father. You know my father? Where is he? Yes, I... What was that? Damn it. The fans have overheated. We must have blown a rotor. What can I do? Just hold on. Was that a typical landing? Don't start with me, Mr. Chance. Oh, my lab! It's going to take forever to get all this damage repaired. I'm sorry to be so much trouble, but I need to know what's going on here. I can explain everything, but first I need your help if we're going to survive. You saved my skin. I'll be happy to help any way I can. I'll need some time to repair the lab so we can get off this island, but Upton's goons will be looking for us. There's a village not too far from here. They've no love for Julius and his men, and may offer to help us. Also, check the immediate area for animals, and use your dart rifle to collect a genetic sample from them. We can use those samples to put together some creatures to defend ourselves. Grab the dart gun and radio, and let's get to work. Lots of work. So much work. No objective, boss. We have to build creatures? Oh, Jesus. Okay. Lower that. Lower that. Lower that. That's how I change these things. Eh. Eh. Okay, then. You mean like those monsters that attacked me? Combined that creatures too. are a scientific marvel. Hardly monsters. Big club. The hell there's a dark hour called hybrid. Poison tail, giant pincers. I don't have a dictionary handy, but monsters seems appropriate. Have it your way, but those so-called monsters are the best way for us to defend ourselves, Mr. Chance. I'll get on that directly. No, how much coal though is. So the regular thing, there's at least. Objective done. Great work, boss. We got no objectives. What's next? Sounds like a plan. Yeah. Anyway, so, the mountain lion is a large wild cat found in the mountainous areas of the western hemisphere. Its approach is going upon a great medium level attack with attributes similar to other felines such as the lioness. Using the leap attack, a fairy of the mountain lion gains a damage bonus when first enters its combat, demonstrating its superior hunting ability. Its high defense rating and would benefit from any combination with an animal that has high health. Objective done. Great but work, boys. Animals show up in the mini map as gray dots, so you can see where they are. I'm on it. That's our no yeah. problem. Oh, jeez, that still sounds loud. I'm on it. The Limming. The Limming is a mouse like rodent characterized by a small, short body that is about 5 inches, 37 inches long, with a very short tail and stout legs. In nature, Limmings are renowned for their mass migration tendencies and have been known to swim lakes and rivers and cross mountains while devouring all vegetation in the path. 
You want to recall each in the sea, they will follow each other and attempt to cross as if a river is in and low death. This creature is powerful because it's one point two creatures with the digging ability, health is extremely low in every hour, after including attack, defense, health, and speed. It is relatively cheap, but may require a strategic combination, with a stronger damage to make useful. However, until learning it's actually useful because Objective it's done. Population. Great work, boys. Let's go. Sounds like a plan. Also, I want to point out that also in the regular one, you have access to a porcupine. So you have access to range units. Because porcupine has crow throw. This, we don't get porcupine until level 2. No Sword problem. If you ever want to know what to do next, just click on the objectives button. Sounds like a plan. I'm on it. Right. But yeah, I mean, there's, there's not Ready no for action. To, I'm on it. To deal with this. Right. No problem. Right. Need a few I'm on things. it. Right. Sounds like a plan. Let's okay. go. That's a coyote. The coyote is a carnivore closely related to the warfare and is commonly seen as a pest to be eradicated, usually by short sighted adventurers who can't see beyond skin deep. Like an onion. The coyote has many layers. This came out, what, 2003? So, yeah, and Shrek came out, what, 2001? So, I guess maybe that's probably a reference to Shrek. Well, well. Now I would consider a coyote. I do not consider a coyote like an onion. Usually they hunt singly or in relays with others rather than in packs. Being a nocturnal hunter in its original form, the coyote has a keen sense of it, which makes it detect camouflage units. This combined with where he's most feet makes the coyote as an inexpensive scout. Do you thought I'd rather have a war for Objective a done. Great work, boys. But no problem. Basic unit. Sounds like a plan. I see that shadow, though. Hello! What do you want? You speak English. Great. Uh, me, friend. Me need help. You don't say. Our magical uh, flying machine has uh, broken. You mean that hover train your lady friend has been hiding here for the last week? We've been meaning to talk to you about that. Ever since she's shown up, it's caused us nothing but grief. Two men are looking for her. They're sending crazy beasts. They smash our igloos and eat our sled dogs. We had to build a fire in the pass just to keep the animals back and stay alive. But we're running out of wood. There's a big beast up near our temple that's developed a real taste for sled dogs. And we're all out of sled dogs. Say, why don't you help us out and get out of here? Believe me, we're trying. Listen, you mentioned two men looking for the lady I'm with. If I help you fight off those animals, will you tell me what you know about them? I guess so. But hurry, we don't have much time. What's okay. next? I'm what? on it. Lucy, those villagers said... So normally you won't get the snowy out until like level three or four? But it's also a flying thing, so... Flying, you can't really have flying until much, well, moderately later. But anyway, the snowy owl ranges across northern Eurasia and north America. During the winter months, the snowy owl's white plumage camouflages it. I would swoop down undetected on small mammoths of fish. The bird's one of the cheapest fly animals, making it an answer choice for inexpensive flying combinations. Be careful, flying users are very mobile, but tend to be more delicate than our creatures. Stone Trouser Kraken has an above average sight ranges. Delarian, it also has the camouflage ability, which makes it a lot You've more. You've been useful. holding out here for a while, and that men are looking for you. What have I gotten myself into? Julius showed up about a week ago and took your father. I was out on a survey mission and avoided. Where is his Scott? Capture. Julius has been looking for me ever since. Why? I honestly don't know. Just that all this started shortly after your father sent a letter to you. That's how I knew you were coming. My hope was that you could help me find him. He means a great deal to me. So to me too. I'll do what I can. The skunk is a carnivore best known for the offensive odor it produces from clan snow's tail. Skunks are armivores, eating small mammals, birds, eggs, and insects. 
Just yes, like honey bees, many farmers believe that skunks keep their own population under control. Dry skunks breed in late winter or early spring, and the dim lines of vegetation can be a whole abandoned by uh, no animal, a new one died by the skunk. Yeah, skunks like digging up your yard. Like, they're just dig holes every frickin' well. Skunk is relatively weak and has low range in all, uh, all areas, but it's the only creature with a stink but attack. How can we fight off Upton's creatures? Objective done. Great work, boss. With creatures of our own. How can I help you? New objective, boss. For science. I just want you guys that up. That shouldn't be a problem. Get a couple of iron rods. And Combined go. creatures like the ones Julius had are a product of the Sigma technology. Something Dr. Chan Hoff and I have been working on for several years. With this lab, we can use the samples of the animals you've collected to design combined creatures to defend our base. So, first things first, combined creatures. Still not have the audio. But let's make our first basic unit. So, the thing is, normally, your first basic unit would probably be either a porcupine measure of something, or a coyote measure of a mountain lion. Which gives you, yeah. Something like this. It's not bad. A bit expensive. Level 2. Most everything we make is gonna be level 2. Sadly. But yeah. So this here is your first basic unit. It does. Yeah, decent enough damage. Has health, defense, speed, size, which adds to things. But yeah, your first basic unit. So okay, we're gonna make something else, because lemmings. Normally I don't use lemmings, because all they have is dig. In the regular one, which, you know, it makes them be able to burrow and pop out in ambush units, which isn't terrible. But in this, they have overpopulation. So basically, you combine it with literally anything, and production speed is doubled, which is useful. Also, Snowy Owl has camouflage. Means it's invisible to most creatures. However, it's countered by keen sense, radio pulse, sonar pulse, and air towers. So basically, it's countered by those units will be fighting. Or have keen sense, like natural coyote, or wolf, or other things of keen sense. But still, camouflage. Not terrible. Of course, we don't want the flying cars. We can't have, you know, air chamber anyway. So, get rid of the wings. There we go. Doesn't have that great defense, but yeah. Probably should have the talons, because 10 damage. They're also slightly cheaper than our first basic unit. If we remove this, it would have to be a lot cheaper on power. But we need that. This is... The Lamau. Yes. The Lamau. Basically, it's a camouflage... Easy to produce unit. Technically does more damage than our first base unit. Actually has more health. Less defense and speed. And it's technically cheaper and coal, but yeah. Press the army management button to go to the army builder screen and design some creatures. Great job! Two. Now you can build creatures of that type anytime you want from the creature chamber. Which is as long as we have enough resources, that is. Excellent. I should send some creatures to defend the village. Those fires were getting pretty low. 
We Maybe we need to design some tougher, meaner animals, Rex. If you click on the lab, there's some new research available that will enable us to build level two creatures. Your building is complete. Well, we got no objectives. Should be able to see it. Should be able to a lot sooner, shouldn't I have? Cause yeah, we're definitely gonna need those as fast as possible before stuff happens. Cause yeah, produce your first units. It's hard to make a level two research is complete. Uh, Objective done. Great work, one. boys. Well, those are resources. Yeah, we're not gonna have nearly enough resources for half this for a while. The fires are dying out. No, no, not the fires. Oh, so I'm still not happy with this. I'm gonna lower this down a lot. Well, hopefully that helps. The critters are under attack. Well, no, Rex Chance at your service. Resources. No problem. A lot of my resources. Oh yeah, by the way, that was literally. The critters awesome. are under attack. Ready. Let's go. <laughs> so, yeah. We have... Well, that's a bit of a problem now. <laughs> What's next? The critters are under attack! <laughs> I'm on it. Well, in other words, they have a lot more re up there. And a lot of range units, too. is unfortunate because yeah we've reached this point which I still hate <laughs> on your first mission you basically have resources we have this entire squad hill that yeah is this good enough to take out the rest of them yeah mitts mitts fears about that So that's in our scout unit. Go to our house, awesome I'm sure. The critters are under attack! Farmers range units. Range units complicate things. The critters are under attack! Because they have those mountain pines, though. We don't have mountain pines. <laughs> The critters are under attack! The <laughs> job is tactical as I can about this, but I don't have high hopes. Because, <laughs> yeah. Oh, we don't have a quick sight button, which sort of sucks. So yeah. The critters are under attack. Well oh, shit, we've been drawn in. There's what sucks. We're doing pretty well right now until this unit shows up. The critters are under attack! Cause he takes literally all the work out of my unit. At least we have some units left over this time. Normally, the critters are under all attack. my units Objective die. Objective done. Great work, boys. Being shot by range units. 
I actually don't have to cheat the first level. Now that those creatures are dealt with, tell me what you know about those men. All right. They're on the next island over. The water between the two islands freezes most nights, which is when they send their creatures. So we can probably expect some company by morning. Lucy, can we get the repairs done by then? Yes, but we don't have enough fuel to get the lab off the ground. Fuel? There's plenty of fuel on the other island. Great. Thanks. Okay, bye-bye now. Anything to get rid of your troublesome people. There's a thing. To be, I would actually end the video before going to the next one, but the net, the the first and second mission are pretty short. It's everything after that at that where it starts becoming sort of a slog and long and bit tedious. So yeah, actually surprised we did so well though. Because, yeah, normally what happens is, basically, I send my units all in, and, yeah, we start fighting, they'll... Well, I'll, I'll show you what they have. We start fighting the Grizzot. Which is a Grizzly Bell match with a... Ot, which is... Pretty impressive for what it is. I mean, it has a shit ton of health. Decent defense. Decent attack. Doesn't cost too bad for, you know, a tier 3. But yeah, normal impossible creatures has, I think it's actually a tier 4 creature there, which is a polar bear mitts with an odds. Which is a pretty freaking impressive, but it has a lot less of everything else. But yeah, it's one of the a polar odds, basically. And it's pretty impressive. It's, it, it's just your first introduction to, hey, this thing's got way too much health and defense and everything. But you should be able to easily handle it with your decent amount of numbers, because they don't have, you know, an entire army of these in normal. Also, there's no difficulty options for this, which sort of sucks. Everything just scales up more and more and becomes a pain in the ass. But yeah. So, the most effective were the Cardigan Welsh Collies, which are barely living and coyote match together. Like, I could have made that, but. Eh, first basic unit. Oh, that was just actually cheaper, isn't it? Not quite as good. But yeah. And then that was all this what I can look at. Anyway, so continuing onwards. Cross that bridge when you come to it. Our biggest issue, besides the sound being entirely too loud during these. From the Journal of Rex Chance, June 13th, 1937. It's only been a day since I've arrived on the island, but it feels like a week. I haven't slept at all, but somehow I'm not feeling tired. Lucy and I have been working around the clock trying to repair the hovercraft. This thing is practically held together with chewing gum and bailing wire, with each repair causing two more problems. Our biggest issue is fuel. There's a depot on the next island, but it's also a fairly obvious place for us to walk into an ambush. We're looking for a man and a woman traveling in a big flying train. A uh, flying train? You're kidding, I right? Love the Have you course. ever known me, kid? I'm dead serious. Find them. Or else. Mm. Oh, so There's the it. fuel depot. It should be easy to get there. The ice has bridged the strait. I don't think it's gonna be that easy. What do you mean? Look. 
That's gonna mean trouble. Oh yeah, that's an uh, art match. Back problem. to the lab. Pick up your feet. Oh god, that's an angle match with an art. That's an angle art. So yeah, by the way, we have you know. New objective, boss. Objective oil. done. Great work, boss. Rex Chance at you. Yeah, also some of these animals don't make sense to actually be here, like... Like, would you believe a mountain lion would be, you know, in frozen tundra? Doesn't really make sense for a mountain lion to be in frozen tundra. Or a coyote in frozen tundra island. Service. But there's just all these animals for plot reasons. So yeah, how much coal do we have? Man, yeah, at least enough to get started. Level two research is complete. Oh no, oh no, oh no! Heads up! Those beasts are coming! The critters are under attack! Really Let's go. Oh, I'm dude. on it. Where's the Aglot? Rex is being attacked! Yeah, you can focus on attacking me all you want. Ready. The critters are under attack. Yeah, thanks. Good job, but that fuel isn't getting here by itself. Ready for action. Gee, why don't I just go over there and ask nice? Why don't you, Mr. Chance? Please, just call me Rex. Uh, Ready. Right. And we don't have a Sounds like a plan. Home. I'm on it. Let's go. Rex can at least take a few hits. Sounds like Rex is being attacked. Which no problem. <laughs> Just strap like a range. What's now. next? To Let's go. Him the critters are under yeah. attack. Right. <laughs> Ready for action. Why? Chris Vail, Parker Pine Wolf. No problem. What my part? Sounds like a plan. Oh, geez, Rex is being attacked. You and so wrong, they? Rex is being attacked. Rex is being attacked. Rex Chance at your service. I'm on it. Right. I'm on it. I'm probably Sounds like a plan. Island. Right. No problem. <laughs> Ready for action. Sounds like a plan. Right. Let's go. This coal pile has been depleted. <laughs> Seriously, all right. Fuck you, game. Hmm? Oh, yeah, by the way, your coal pile is depleted already. Yes? I can't bet a fucking level light. Hmm? Oh, that's right. Ready. <sighs> Sounds like a plan. Well, wow, that's moderately infuriating. Well, that's a war. Rex Chance no. at your service. She's Let's go. Sounds like a plan. Right. Oh, Sounds spell. like a plan. I could spell. The Grizzly Bear has large plans, great feet. He wants to attach the ground. Five long claws on its front paws. The Grizzly Bear will subsist on a diet of berries, vegetation, and small mammals. But don't be fooled by the vegetarian belt. The creature is dangerous, fast, and tough battles. Many weaknesses are low sight range, modest defense, and lack of any. Front spatial berries. The fact that it is relatively cheap and has high health increases the strategic power in the combiner. Objective done. Great work, boys. Yeah, here's the barrel's not right. bad. But I normally no would be problem. The polar bear. Only Let's problem, go. Though, is the polar bear Sounds like a plan. to bring things up to uh, Let's level go. four instead of a level three. Sounds like a plan. Right. Park Ready fine. for action. 
Mark finds the herb. Boreas wrote it with long pointed spines of quills growing from the back and sides and some species from the head and tails. The quills, which have needle sharp ends containing hundreds of barbs, can be erected by the monsters of the skin. This animal grows to length of at least 24 inches and has a short tail and brownish tail. The value of such a small creature and its strategic arm is initial regression, but its ability to fire short curves from its body makes it a potent range unit. The fork vine has two range attacks. Growth or Uncreal Burst allows an area attack that damages all units, friendly and enemy. Which I hardly ever use because. Objective of that. done. Great work, boys. Because why would I want no to use No problem. To Let's go. All my units. But hey, it's a new unit. So here's the thing. Porcupine Lemming could be useful. The problem though is Lemming's got all bite being it's spatial, so we'd have to sacrifice a lot of damage though. For you know. It's not bad. But I think what I wanna go with is Snowy Owl actually. Why? Because we're going to, sadly, we're going to sacrifice Tail Strike. But. And disoriented Barb, sadly. But we have basically a low HP, low. a low cost. unit that can basically. It's gonna be invisible until it starts firing. So we're basically have an invisible range unit. I like the idea of that. It's a poor cow, you know, poor cow. So yeah, a lot of my earlier things are going to be mixed with Snowy Owl. A Grizzly Bell? Power Grizzly Bell is, yeah, three. What am I going to do with three? Well, at least it was not bad for, you know, a tier 3 with all that hell. Defense. But what if we made, you know. That's his theory. Doesn't have that great defense, but yeah. So much tempted. Just for a tier three early unit. I mean, I mean, I'm <laughs> perfectly fine with a grizzly owl. Until we can get better. But yeah, what sucks though is we have literally no resources, and it's basically. Hey, can you make it? No. Oh, the critters people. are under attack! Rex Chance at your well, service. You know, too many creatures here will, will bug out when you try to go to the henchman. Which is unfortunate. What's next? I'm on it. I surrender. Please, don't let your creatures eat me. Give us some of your fuel and I won't let them hurt you. Sure, sure. I'll even carry it for you. But you and your creatures will have to protect me. I don't like being eaten. Fair enough. <laughs> Not many people do like being eaten. Objective done. Great work, boss. We got no objectives. Ready. No There's problem. That. The critters are under attack! Rex Chance at your service. Sounds like a plan. Just cause we might need a Let's go. escort back. 
Not sure if Sounds like a plan. it through or not, but yeah. Just in case. The critters are under attack! Let's go. Sounds like a plan. Yeah. Objective done. Great work, boys. I got scares. Oh, do you ever. Charming. This'll keep us flying for a while. Uh, I done good then? Yeah. Look, I've got a proposition for you. But geez, I'm flattered, Mr. Chance, but uh, I don't, uh, I mean, I ain't oh into, my. you know. Oh, look, friend, it's nothing like that. You seem like a competent guy. How would you like to work for us? I don't like Julius one bit, but uh, if I work for you, he'll send Whitey after me. What's a Whitey? <laughs> He's referring to <laughs> Whitey Putin, Julius' head sure thug who keeps all the men in line. I'm Most of them sure hate Julius, but do what he says because they're afraid of the consequences. Listen, buddy. If you help us out, I promise I'll protect you. Uh, well, uh, they'd uh, probably kill me for failing to capture you anyway, so, uh, okay. I'll help you. There's a building over at the base that you might want to look at. It makes the beasts extra tough, and we were sending them over to torment them villages real bad. I feel awful about it too, but uh, I'm a changed man. Hold on! Set down somewhere closer to the enemy base. Lucy, we're not quite done here yet. Let's locate this structure and clear those islands once and for all. So, I don't yeah. think it's a good idea to stick around, Rex. Objection noted. But I don't want Whitey's goons attacking the village the moment we leave, and I'm gonna I need you to look at this structure. Work. The henchmen can gather the coal, and we'll go spoil Whitey's fun. I should've stayed in school. I'm tired of chipping coal. Shoulda, woulda, coulda, pal. Uh, you can recruit more of us from the lab, but, uh, we don't work for free. It's gonna cost you. No objective, boss. What's next? We got new objectives. I'm on it. So, the wolf. Wolf is the carnivore related to the jackal and domestic dog. All wolves are characterized by powerful teeth, bushy tails, and round pupils. Certain characteristics of the skull distinguish them from the domestic dog. <laughs> Some breeds of which they otherwise resemble. Wolves are equally at home on prairies and forest lands and off at the highest mountains. In the winter, they travel in packs searching for food, small animals, and birds, so the common prey of wolves. For uh, packs sometimes attacks, reindeer, caribou, sheep, and other large mammals, usually selecting weak, old, or very young animals for easier capture. The wolf is a powerful canine unit with keen sensibility that can detect stealthier camouflage units. It also has high endurance and gains bonus when attacking in groups of uh, four or more. It has a Objective lot of goals. Objective done. Great work, boys. Basically, so here's the thing. First basic unit. Yeah, the problem though is this is going to take our we're remaining first basic units, sadly. As we replace the coyote with the wolf. So that gives it. Yeah, it makes it slightly better. Actually, high endurance. I prefer high endurance. Keep the leap attack. Wolf tail? Yeah. So now, first basic unit is now. The Wolfion. Wolf Ion. Which takes out our last one now. Which is unfortunate. What would you have me which, do? Yeah, now we only have stealth units, which is pretty bad to have just stealth units. No. Rex Chance at your units. service. Right. We can't even make two or three. Uh, units. Hello. How That's can I help you? Anyway, I'm going to need. I'll get on that directly. Two of those going hell. And probably for science, right away. Yeah, that was going hell. Well, no, is oh, we just left that back though. Cool, cool. 
A new building is complete. The Quillers are under attack! What's next? Oh, that's... That's not ideal. The building you requested is complete. The Quillers are under attack! Your building is complete. The Quillers are under attack! Are they could be coming up this way too? A new building is complete. Is it ideal? But yeah, we want to get a bunch of wolf beyonds so they can get the pack thing going. The critters are under attack. The building you requested is complete. Oh, well, that was yeah. Well, all this is going to be yeah. Also, the AI is going to put them in a weird place. The critters are under mind. attack! Oof, that musket fish. I don't need you attacking that yet. Hold. Hold. Yes, okay, I'll get on that come. directly. Oh, the critters are under attack! Rex Chance at your service. I'm on it. Let's go. Okay, so also put the creature chambers on hotkeys. Sadly, you can't multi grab them and do like, you know, hmm? any other RTS. Like, you can't that do like shouldn't the be a problem. Warcraft 3 or Starcraft thing of having multiple barrels all keyed to one thing. Ready for action. So you could just yes? multi produce. You have to go between both, which is unfortunate. But anyway, get some porky hours going. Get some more of you going. Not enough coal, never enough coal. Sadly, coal is probably going to be running out soon. And we have at least enough to last me a few seconds anyway. Come on, one. There you go. Hmm, I'll get on that directly. Objective done. Great work, boys. I have the genetic amplifier plans now, Rex. It's a very impressive piece of work, so I doubt Whitey Hooten had anything to do with this one. I'll know more when we build it. There's a the thing about coal. For the most part, you only really need, like, one for each. But I'd say double up. Don't triple up. Triple up just ends up with a kill at the coal. Doubling up at least the there's one are person under there to constantly keep taking coal. Yeah, tripling up is bad because you have people just weighing them. You end up with a kill, which isn't exactly ideal. So yeah, the genetic amplifier. I'd For say science. normally the I'd critters are under attack. Just to speed up production of things. Right yeah. away. That shouldn't be a problem. Never waste of resources, but ready. The genetic amplifier lets us improve each of our creature designs in some key areas. Dr. Chanikov only speculated about this kind of technology. Feel free to try it. Also, keep checking back at the genetic amplifier. I'm going to keep tinkering with it, and maybe we can continue to fine-tune our genetic designs. Your building is so complete. So there's things to increase their attack speed, you know. You can increase their speed and attack, but not really their attack speed. The building you requested is complete. Yes? For science! Well, at least defense is true. The critters are under attack! Okay, I think it might be time to... Yeah. That <laughs> research you wanted is done. Start smash. Done research. Oh god, no one of you. The critters are under attack! This coal pile has been depleted. Uh, uh, 
Oh, well, well, that's terrible. I might, I may have to cheat here. Just cause, yeah. The Quillers are under attack! I can the defense, right? Yes. Because we might not have enough units in this single group here <laughs> to deal with the rest of what's left. That research you wanted is done. Because as I mentioned, this here is such... This here is bad design. The Quillers are under attack! Oh jeez, yeah, well, well, we might be fucked. Because those range units are going to be problematic. Oh, some flying units. What the fuck? Flying units. The critters are under attack! Oh, yeah, we're just fucked. Okay. And this is why we cheat, because this game it does not play fail. Rex is being attacked! Ah. Uh. Shit, that's not working. Ready for action. Sounds like a plan. Ah, uh, shit, where's the cheat? That was that. Rex is being attacked. Somebody's cheating. Maybe that's too much. Anyway. I'm on it. Rex is being attacked. They're destroying our buildings. Henchman under Somebody's cheating. <laughs> Lucy's being attacked. The critters are under attack. Where is Lucy? I don't know. Oh, How dead. can I help you? I'll get on that directly. The critters are under attack. Somebody's cheating. They don't have to resort to this, but yeah. <laughs> I mentioned probably not gonna be able to do this without cheating though. Just just how the game is. Especially when, you know. Not enough resources for Our base is under attack! Huh, yeah. I've got one of those things after me! Not enough resources. The critters are under attack. <laughs> so the majority was just gonna be sending a massive army and watching the production camps. Unless we keep putting lemmings and everything. Hello. All right. The critters are under attack. Hello. You're the boss. Okay. So. Done building. Done researching. That research you wanted is done. Building's done. That research you wanted is done. Done researching. That research you wanted is done. Done researching. Those. 
The critters are under attack! Hello? That research you wanted is done. Done researching. Uh, let's see. Got a whole bunch of these that research you wanted is done. Researching. Side. The critters are under attack. That research you wanted is done. Done researching. That research you wanted is done. <laughs> yeah. So this hill. This is my not giving a shit. Oh. The critters are under attack. We'll have worse later on. Watch, we can have level fives. That good thing is we can literally select all the <laughs> units too. And yeah. <laughs> Thing is, they don't leave much left before we sent my forces in. And we have to literally destroy all their stuff. Which can become tedious later on. Objective done. Great work, boss. Okay, let's get out of here. Where to? I'm here for my father. So let's head back to his lab and see what we can find. Julius's men are sure to look for us there. I'm betting on it, Lucy. Where are you, boys? Hello? You? Oh, if you're dead, I'm gonna kill you. Well, there you go. Well, yeah. So, the, yeah, we lost quite a few of them. Before I happen to resolve of that. Cause, yeah. The problem though was, okay, we sent a bunch of our ground units in. We didn't have nearly enough hit range units. And then. They sent skunky. Well, well, no, it was snowballs they sent. That was a decent help. Yeah, not the worst attack, but yeah. Freaking snowballs, I said. That's gunky hours, not bad either. Smock the skunk. Bah. Oh, no, is, yeah. Gonna really make Rosa out, cause two or three. Yet they were just allowed to have, you know. Freaking snowballs. They were allowed to have freaking three musker fish. Which is a bit much, don't you think? That help and defense. And too many of my units go basically focus on that damage. But yeah. Most damage to units. Most losses. Or limb mouse. Limb mouse. Limb mouse. Warpions. Lemaus. Lemaus. But yeah. I just want to bring up the fact that basically, yeah. A lot of this is going to get worse. There was one level in particular I remember. Well, basically, we reached a point where basically it was basically a tug of war. Well, 
they were just constantly sending units. We were constantly sending units. They basically went back and forth. No real progress for quite a while. I'm not exactly looking forward to that. That sounds tedious. But yeah. A lot of my later creatures are gonna be Guerrero based. Just because Guerrero is a good overall. overall base, basically. Like how Grizzly Bear makes a decent base. Polar Bear makes a decent base. Polar Bear brings most things up to four. Guerrero also brings most things up to four. But Guerrero has. Better, it has, I think, Pummel, which is, I think it does more damage than Grizzly Bear's Claws. That's Grizzly Bear, yeah. Oh, well, better than Polar Bear's Claws, so yeah. But, there was that, that's more stuff to worry about much later on than now. Anyway, next time we'll continue this, as for now, we're going back to the main menu and making sure... That's right, oh yeah, flowers and suns. But we'll deal with that next time. As for now, hope you all enjoyed, thank you all, and have a nice day.